away they go, broken a beautiful line. In fact, they broke so well, all four of them lining up out on the lead here. Down at the rail, we have the Pample Moose and now Brother Keith. These two are going to go on to establish the early lead. Fiddler's of Fleet, though, is right there in third. And on the outside, Square Eddie is a joint third. Only two lengths covers those runners. And at the back, we have Rye Hill Dreamer. Not cornering well at all here is Brother Keith. Brother Keith wanted to break the turn there when he went right out to the outside rail. The rider's got both hands on the left rein here, trying to get him back into it. But basically, he's out of it. Down the back stretch they go, and it's the Pample Moose setting a good pace, leads it by two lengths. Fiddlers of Fleet is in second. Here is Square Eddy in the perfect spot, third, three lengths off the leaders. Then it's another length and a half back to Rye Hill Dreamer, and let's see, Brother Keith has tailed off. They run past a half mile pole now, and the Pample Moose all alone out here leads it by nearly three. Down at the rail, Fiddlers of Feet. Up alongside of that comes Square Eddy. Just in behind them is Rye Hill Dreamer, who's now five off the leader. And then it's another eight back to Brother Keith. They approach in the quarter pole. The Pample Moose still in front, but now here comes Square Eddy to take him on. Rye Hill Dreamer's running a big one. Rye Hill Dreamer, white cap on the outside, closing in. They turn for home. The Pample Moose finds more on the lead. Square Eddy stretching him every yard of the way, and down the centre, Rye Hill Dreamer, any one of the three can win it, but the Pample Moose has kicked on again, and the Pample Moose starting to pull clear again. A huge performance today from the Pample Moose and Alex Salise as they stride home impressive winners. Square Eddie has to settle for second, then Rye Hill Dreamer.